So, did the workout today. Uh, work actually went pretty smooth. It was kind of just power through. Not even, I mean, not even power through. Like it wasn't that busy. It wasn't really anything that complicated. Everything kind of just chugged along. Uh, you know, yeah, you have your you have your irates. You have your people that are upset about this, that, or the other thing. Then you deal with them appropriately. I, know, I just felt like I was in a really good mental state today overall. It was, it was good to like end work without being like, oh, thank God. And like that's that's a bad like if you're if you're doing that regularly probably want to look into maybe changing fields or changing positions in your job or something something needs to change because you shouldn't you shouldn't struggle to get through the day mentally like you shouldn't like it might be hard work you might have a lot to do but you should not I mean, this is something that we've been watching a like a lot of um god i hate to call them self-help but like motivational it's called motivational uh, videos. Uh, I know everybody hates them, but I watch. Uh, I actually did buy the the Ty Lopez package, and yes, uh, I'd be the first to tell you it's a lot of stuff that is common sense, but it is not commonly used and it's not commonly followed. Plus, on top of that, it's just like this hundred day series, right? It's somebody, even arbitrarily, to be accountable to. The, the, one of the biggest takeaways I've had from that entire series is if you are if you are working for your days off, if you are working just so you can have your two days off a week, or just so you can have a week's vacation a year, that you're 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 killing yourself. And if you're ending the day with a I can't believe, like a, like just struggling to get to the to the punch out time, you you got to do something different. Uh, I've got the the coding class set up back here, ready to go. I've actually got to edit the last two days vlog and post it up. It's 1040 um, so we went straight to the gym uh, did about an hour at the gym uh, with actually Erica came with me Hottis his wife came with joy as well that was cool like to have everybody there it's, I don't know, it's like when you have your own group like I don't really like group like workout like uh, classes and things like that but having your own group like your own people to talk to it's nice uh, Erica and I went after that to uh, to dinner uh, I went ahead and had an egg white omelet. Uh, it was a big omelet, I'll be honest, but my breakfast was super light, my lunch was super light, and all I had really the rest of the day was the, the this kind of stuff. Zero calorie, sparkling water, no sugar, no nothing. No. Yeah, so that's the kind of stuff I have been consuming today. So I, I said, I'm gonna have an omelet, I'm gonna do the right thing, I'm gonna say, you know, do the egg whites instead of the eggs. So brought down the counters, brought down the cholesterol level. Uh, is it cholesterol? I think it's cholesterol. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so I had a big-ish big, big -ish dinner, um, but I don't, it's one of those things I don't feel bad about. It. I've been making good decisions all day, and it's, it actually, I, I wasn't like, oh man, like I'm cheating on my diet or whatever. No, like, I, I don't feel bad about it, no. I've been at the gym pushing. We did legs today, it was hard. I uh, hope you guys are watching the fitness vlogs if you are. Yeah, you know, appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm gonna edit yesterday's, last two days logs, uh, and then do, I wanna do the pen up. I wanna figure out what my pen up's gonna be. <laughs> I, uh, I I gave Erica, I'm like, listen, clear your mind, clear your mind, just don't think about anything. I'm like, what is the first thing you think of when I say life in space? And all she could say was, floating? <laughs> so uh, I had this idea of maybe like, I mean, it's, it sounds super cheesy, but I feel like I can make it cool somehow. I'm just, Lit, like a almost like a literal translation of the of the concept of like a little potted plant, but like in a star field with like planets and shit in the background. I don't know. I, I think it'd be I think it'd be cool. It'd be interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna play around with it. We'll see see what I can do with that. Bloody breakthrough. So I took I took the idea of that that like potted that like cute little idea of a potted plant flying through space, and then I kind of went more with the idea of living in space and what that would be like and what's the one thing that's always going to be a constant there's always going to be something between us and space right you can go out you can touch nature you can touch the earth you can touch the sky really right you can go and be free in the sky you can fall, fall freely to the earth of your own volition out of a perfectly working airplane for some goddamn reason but in space 
there will always be a barrier. And I'm gonna have, I wanna kinda make like this really beautiful starscape, you know, nebulas and all that kind of crazy stuff behind because regardless of how awesome it is, you can never touch it, right? You always have to just observe from your little dome. Some, some deep shit. Uh, clearly, I fell asleep. Uh, but that's it. I put in about an hour on the game. Uh, we added a music element. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're starting to think about the global sense of the game. I'm just getting the day started here. So appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you in uh, an hour when I start recording for today. <laughs>